Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Emmy Broker tutorials. Really great to have you here. Just thought I'd do a quick one on the infamous sell in May and go away. Uh, no doubt if you've been an investor for any amount of time, you will have heard this saying, sell in May and go away and don't come back till Labor Day or something like that. Is that how it goes? Anyway, the idea is that you sell all your stocks in May because from May till around October or November, they are the weakest months of the year and that that potentially has the um or you know has the opportunity to increase your returns just by selling in May and coming back in October. So let's do a really quick the best way to to test something like this is to test it mechanically and automatically and um and the best way to do that in my opinion is with Ami Broker. Ami Broker is probably the best bang for your buck charting program that you can get and with a tiny little bit of Ami Broker formula language or um tiny little bit of code, really simple stuff, then uh then you can actually do a quick test on this and see if there's any truth to it as well. So, let's check it out. We quickly go to analysis up here and formula editor. So uh, this will open up our formula editor, a nice blank sheet for us as well. And uh, now with our with our selling in May, the best way to do it is to, well, let's do a buy and sell signal first. Buy and sell. And as you can see, if it goes bold, which it has, then that means that Emmy Broker recognizes that as a command. So that's happy days for us. Next, we want to if our buy equals month, and if we type in month, it goes blue, and uh, and that's also a good sign. That means that Emmy Broker recognizes that as well. So next thing we do after a blue after a blue um, command, we put a a bracket. We open our bracket, and as you can see, it's not expecting anything because it would actually tell us here if it's expecting something. So we'll put we'll close the bracket. Now we want our month to equal, whoops, equal, so two equal signs is equal to, and uh, which month will buy in November after all of this nasty sell in May business has gone away. <laughs> so, and our sell signal would be the same, so month, and as you can see it goes blue, we open the bracket, and it's not expecting anything, so we close the bracket, and we equal to month number five, which is May, of course. So if we just close that down there, we do a really quick check over here. We've got our colored, uh, little colored thing here, and we choose check. And it hasn't come up with any errors, so that's good for us. We can then save this crazy thing as uh, cell in May please, because we're just polite like that. Um, sell in May, please, and close that down. Now, let's get to the testing. We go to analysis, and I just jump into the old automatic analysis window, just because I like that one. Uh, I like it better than the new one. I like the old stuff better than the new stuff, as you might say. We pick the uh, the one that we just created, and what was it called? Sell in May something, please, with sh sugar on top. And next in our step is to choose the, the current symbol or any symbol that we want to test this on. What I'm going to test this on myself is the All Ordinaries down under. In fact, let's get a little bit crazy. Let's do it on the S&P 500 because, um, you know, that's a bit more global for everyone. Sometimes down here, down under Australia, we just don't have, <laughs> you know, there's not as many people looking at, at this market as there, as there is in America. <laughs> so <laughs> how about we do that? The S&P 500, the, uh, or INX, is the, is the ticker for myself here, using Amy Broker. So we'll use the current symbol. We want to test it from 1990 to 2013. What do you reckon? That's that's 23 years. That's a pretty good amount of data. And then we just choose back test. So let's have a look. We did our back test. As you can see, it took less than a second to do it. And that's the power of Emmy Broker. That's just incredible stuff. Really, really incredible stuff. So we do our report, click on report, and let's have a look and see what we got. We got a or an 
annual return of 6.89% and uh, the overall return, net profit of 376%. Now that's a good sign. So we actually won four out of five times. So four out of five years, you will win, you could win, you know, based on the back testing, you could win based on this strategy of selling May and going away. And for every time you win, uh, the potential is 10%. And for every time you lose, the potential is to lose 7% um, based on the S&P 500. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. And there's the equity chart there. As you can see, yeah, really, that's that's pretty respectable, you know, from from just doing it on the S&P 500. We could do it on a portfolio of stocks as well, just to get a little bit crazy. But before we do, let's just compare this to a buy and hold. So if we just edit our formula, and for those of you who remember the tutorial on buy and hold that I did with Emmy Broker, all we do is buy equals true. And we just comment out the, uh, the rest of our stuff there. As you can see, when we put those two forward slashes in, it goes green. That means that Emmy Broker is now ignoring it. So uh, that's exactly what we want at this point. Uh, semicolon and comment out the sell signal. So we've got buy equals true, sell equals false. We'll just save that for now and let's do a back test. So let's see how it compares. And as you can see, because it's buy and hold, it's just one buy at the start and that's it. Now, reporting. The, uh, this is what it comes down to. The annual return in percentage terms is 6.81%. Now, what was it in uh, in our other one? Oh my goodness, wow, how close is that? <laughs> Look at that, so this is our sell in May over here, and this is our just buy and hold. So if we bought and hold, our annual return is 6.81. If we sell in May and go away, it's 6.89. That's not a very big difference, just between you and me. Just between you and me, that's not a big difference at all. Um, the, in fact, over 23 years, the, the percent difference in return is about 8%. Here's the chart for uh, for sell in May and the chart for... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the equity curve just for a buy and hold. It goes up, down, up, down, up. But even so, it still manages to come out around about the same as our, uh, as our sell in May and go away. How funny is that? So that's very, 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 very interesting. Um, in fact, it hasn't made that much of a difference at all. Now, let's just do one really quick thing. What we can do is uh, if we edit our thing again, and some people have added just a moving average. So if we go back to our, our months, we're buying in, Oct buying in November, selling in May. And let's, if we buy, let's say, and our price and our close is above, whoop, let's move that, above, uh, greater than or equal to, a moving average of the closing price, uh, what shall we say, 200? A 200-day 200 moving average, let's say that. And then we sell in May no matter what. So let's give that a go and just see what happens. Um, back test again and report. And, oh, <laughs> okay, wow, wow. So that's interesting. Well, the net profit, like the actual net profit, let's compare it to the, uh, the sell in May and go away. Okay, so we'll bring that over here. So yeah, okay, so the actual net profit actually goes down. But the equity curve, let's have a look. Let's have a look. It still ends up, I mean, it's very, very similar. It's only about 20% difference. Um, the equity curve is much smoother when you when you when you add a a moving average filter as well. And again, with the formula, it was just buying in November, provided that the price is above the uh, the 200-day moving average, and then we sold in May. So yeah, I mean that really that's what it comes down to. It looks a lot of a smoother ride, a lot more smooth ride. Ends up about the same. This one ends up just over 45,000 uh, 45, if you'd invested $10,000 in 1990. And really, that's about it. So pretty cool, hey? I mean, such an easy way to check 
sell in May go, on, go away. Really, does it work? Well, not quite by itself. Um, at least not based on the S&P 500. It's, a, it's not a stellar difference anyway. And that's about it. So guys, I hope that's helped in some small way. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to shoot them to me at the site, or if you have any suggestions for videos as well. Other than that, I will see you next time, and happy trending until then. Bye for now.